Hi Scorpio, welcome to your love reading. How are you? I hope you're doing fine. In this reading, I will be looking at the current energies, the person on your mind, the possible outcomes, new person coming in, if you are interested about new person, and other details as well. If you are new to the channel, welcome as well, and I invite you to subscribe because I post videos every day. You can check the schedule of the readings. It is in the description box below this video. Okay, let's start. Let's shuffle first four times. And let's begin with the current energies. I think you will get lots of attention from others or you are having lots of attention from others but just be careful of somebody here because they have a sneaky behavior they are a, a great manipulator i know that your intuition is spot on and you can spot it immediately but this seems like a pro like a professional and you should be careful not to fall for a liar or a manipulator i'm sorry i'm starting this this way but that's what I'm getting, seven of swords, six of wands. You have lots of options, but uh, don't choose this person, this manipulator. You will get to know who is this person. Just don't get blinded by any strong attraction or feelings that you might start uh, towards this person. What is affecting you in your subconscious at this moment? A cycle that might have been closed with somebody. And you had high expectations. Some of you thought this was the connection. Some of you celebrated the love, got married, or had big plans about that. That's what I'm getting with the world card. I have fixed signs here, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and Scorpio. Let's see what was the main challenge in the past. The lack of communication or somebody using silence treatment. And again, I'm getting the message that you should trust your intuition more. If it, if it feels off, it is off and you should be more aware. Ten of Pentacles, you are focusing on connecting with somebody that is serious and with whom you will build an empire, a legacy, something stable, long term and what is your fear or your hope with that Eight of Pentacles? You wish sometimes to have more inner motivation and focus, even though I know you Scorpius are very focused, very determined, but sometimes you, you criticize yourself that maybe you should have done more or persisted more. Or maybe you are thinking that about the person that you were dealing with, that they should have been much more a hard worker towards that relationship. Okay, let's continue with the person that is on your mind. Let's see about their current energies. And then I will be moving to the new person coming in. Okay, what are the energies of the person that is on your mind? Their current energies... Two of Wands, they haven't released you yet completely, but they are looking for a new connection, or they might be with somebody new, but they haven't released the past relationship yet. What is on their subconscious? They still have that strong attraction and desire for you. It is, uh, It cannot be denied. They cannot, no matter how hard they try, they cannot escape that strong attraction that they still have for you. What is on their mind? Three of Cups, they would like to reunite one day, but they want that reunion to be happy. How did they enter this connection? In the beginning, they knew that they needed to be very patient with you, that there were some things, they noticed some red flags right from the very beginning. And they knew that uh, there were some blind spots that they didn't see yet, but they knew that they needed to work and be very patient 
for that connection, if there was to be a connection. That's how they entered this in the beginning. But what is their next plan towards this? Ten of Wands, for as long as they still think it is heavy and dramatic as a connection, I think that they will be very guarded and they will not make an approach. Again, deep inside themselves, they would like to see some harmony and balance or maybe some reconciliation, but they feel it is quite heavy, very dramatic as a connection. Now, let's see what is the possible outcome in the future, in the near future, regarding the situation. Stagnancy, no movement forward. I think that you will continue to remain single from this person in the near future. But what is the overall outcome in general? No time frame here. If somebody here waits too long, this might be a missed opportunity. That's what I'm getting. The overall outcome. Now, either there might be a rejection happening or if uh, you or them or both of you wait too long for each other and uh, none of you takes action even if there's some opportunity in the distant future it might be seemed like too late that's what i'm getting but if you want to know even more details about this person that is on your mind even more details there's an extended video in the description box below about them especially but some details are about you as well okay let's continue with the other scenario if you're single and if you're looking for a new person what is the energy of the next new person coming in what is their energy the overall energy very logical they might be very straightforward with their words, but they are honest. The passion and desire is very strong there. They might seem like not interested or very cold, not emotional in the beginning, but there's a big fire inside themselves uh, for the connection with you or when talking to you, when meeting you. This will heal all the wounds that you might have had from a past relationship. For some of you, this might be some long distance relationship or this person lives at a distance first. I do see a good overall energy here. There's love, there's feelings, there's attraction, there's healing here. What is the possible energy of the first month there's a little bit of worries uncertainty if uh, some of you is telling the truth you both will be thinking that about each other or not being quite sure if uh, there is honesty or manipulation or there are any secrets involved Scorpio, this was the general reading. I hope this was helpful. If you liked and resonated with this reading, please hit the like button and share the video if you want to. If you haven't subscribed already, I invite you to subscribe because I post videos every day and you can check the schedule of the readings. They are in the description box below this video. Thank you for watching. I wish you all the best and I will see you at the next reading. Bye for now.